Next night, the public inquiry into the contaminator blood scandal has heard how a new mum was infected with hepatitis C by a blood transfusion at a maternity hospital in Dewsbury, despite telling doctors about her fears of infection. Leslie McAvoy only agreed to the transfusion after being assured the blood had been heat treated. But today, the inquiry heard that was something not actually possible at the time. Our health correspondent, Jamie Coulson, reports. Leslie McAvoy was infected with hepatitis C in 1985 after giving birth to her first child when she was given a blood transfusion at the Staincliffe Maternity Hospital in Dewsbury. I knew some of the blood supplies were infected or weren't safe. Today, she told the infected blood inquiry in Leeds how she refused the transfusion at first, despite being seriously ill, because she'd heard about the risks. But her doctor told her she was being paranoid. A consultant came onto the ward and shouted at me in front of everybody and said I was a bed blocker. And he said, this is a maternity unit. You've had your baby and we should be moving you off this unit. He absolutely humiliated me in front of everyone on the ward. The inquiry heard that Leslie finally agreed to have the transfusion when she was told that the blood that would be used had been heat treated and she was shown a blood bag with a label on it to that effect. But the inquiry also heard today that at that time red blood like she was shown couldn't go through that procedure. If they're telling me now that it wasn't heat treated and that it couldn't have been then I ran the risk of not only getting hep C but HIV and a lot of people have had co-infections with birth. That is an, that's shocking. It just shocks me. This, I have not heard uh, what may be said uh, by the hospital. Sir Brian Langstaff, who's leading the inquiry, said those listening to the evidence might assume it had been done to either reassure or mislead Leslie, but that no conclusions could be drawn without hearing from the hospital. The BBC has approached the Mid-Yorkshire Trust, which took over the now-defunct Staincliffe unit, for comment. I've had longer with this illness and its aftermath than I had life before it. And you can't help thinking how different would your life have been if you'd never had that. Leslie's story is just one among the many in a scandal dubbed the worst ever NHS treatment disaster. Jamie Coulson, BBC Look North.